Hello and a very good day to everyone. One determinant of future occlusion status is seen within the primary dentition. There are many morphogenetic and environmental influences affecting the occlusor development, and one of the factors is premature exfoliation of primary teeth. This is known to cause space loss and resulting in malocclusion. The solution to this problem is by maintaining the space, but how? The first thing that will definitely come to our mind is the conventional stainless steel band and loop space maintainer. However, there are some drawbacks that can be seen in this. Today, to overcome these drawbacks, a not so new material but new to pediatric dentistry has been introduced for space maintainers. We are from Group 3 will present to you Glass Fiber Reinforced Composite Resin. There has been increased interest in glass fiber reinforced composite resin in dentistry. It has been used in removable prostodontics, fixed partial dentures, and in orthodontic treatment as a retention splint. Now, it is considered as a superior alternative of conventional stainless steel band and loop space maintainer, especially due to its reduced tooth preparation, which is essential for prevention, one of the pediatric dentistry's major aims. There are a few reasons why we choose glass fiber for the composite reinforcement, but the main one is because their ability to chemically bond to dental composite materials. The glass fiber reinforced composite resin is used as a fixed unilateral space maintainers. Fixed, meaning that it is fixed to a tooth or more than one tooth. Unilateral, meaning it is fixed to one side of the mouth. This glass fiber reinforced composite resin is a superior alternative but still in evolution. Why? This is due to the main reason of its failure, debonding. So, it needs enhancement regarding the bond strength and also the fixed placement technique. As for this debonding factor, the breakdown of enamel composite interface is at higher risk compared to fiber composite interface. Not only that, Authors from a space maintainer journals also state that enamel composite interface broke down within one month when it is placed without rubber dam. Despite that, it is still a superior alternative for conventional band and loop. As you can see from this graph, the evidence, it portrays that parents and child are much more satisfied with the glass fiber reinforced composite resin as a space maintainer. Now, I will pass the presentation to the next presenter. So now we're going to discuss about the indication of using glass fiber reinforced composite resin or also known as GFRCR to be used as a space maintainer. For the first indication, the abutment teeth present must be in a non carious or minimally restored condition or to simply say it would be better if it's a healthy teeth. This is because we need the tooth structure to be in a healthy condition so that our material, the GFRCR, can bond to the tooth surface properly so that it can create a high bond strength. This adhesion mechanism is of the same as the explanation behind adhesion of a composite placement. Next, for the second point, GFRCR is indicated to be used when there is a space present due to the loss of primary second molar. This is to ensure that the space is maintained so that the eruption of the first permanent molar will be in a correct manner, or else the complications such as mesial migration, space loss, and reduction in arch length is likely to occur. Moving on to the last point for indication, based on what my friend presented in the first part just now, it is said that there is a high chance of debonding failure to occur if there is no moisture control involvement. Thus, this last indication is if the patient is cooperative and we as the operator can instill good moisture control using rubber dam, then it is possible to use GFRCR as a space maintainer. Hi everyone, 
I'm Farhana and I will be explaining further on the contraindications of using glass fibre reinforced composite resin or better known as GFRCR as a space maintainer. So the first contraindication of using GFRCR as a space maintainer would be the lack of space for tooth eruption. When there is minimal or insufficient space after the exfoliation of primary second molars, the usage of GFRCR would only lead to complications or even impede the eruption of the first permanent molar. It gives rise to complications such as mesial migration or even reduction in arch length. The next contraindication for using GFRCR as a space maintainer is poor patient compliance. This is because moisture control will not be possible to achieve if the patient is not compliant. And moisture control is an important element and necessary for GFRCR application to avoid debonding failure. Therefore, the space maintainer will fail if moisture control is not achieved. And the last contraindication would be patients of high caries risk. They are not suitable as a healthy abutment tooth is required for proper bonding of GFRCR on the tooth surface as explained by my friend earlier. That's all from me. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Dominic. I will be talking about the advantages and disadvantages of glass fibre reinforced composite resin. There are several advantages that can be discussed. I will be begin with the application part. Glass fibre reinforced composite resin, it shows a great advantages uh, when as it can be prepared in one session and it also eliminates the laboratory expenses which reduce the costs and also easy to repair and replace. Now let's look into the aesthetic part. It is more aesthetic compared to other space maintainers such as metal space maintainers. It adheres to tooth structure by adhesive application. The last part we are going to discuss about the advantages is biocompatibility. Glass fiber reinforced composite resin has reduced potential for soft tissue damage compared to metal space maintainers. It is also better accepted by patients and it has uh, acceptable durability. Next, we are going to venture into the disadvantages of glass fibre reinforced composite resin. Let's begin with its application part. It is technique sensitive and good isolation and cooperation from the patient is required and it has risk of bonding failures. Another part we are going to discuss is clinical success. It is considered a relatively new technique compared to other space maintainers. The long-term use has not been evaluated as the numbers of studies which evaluate the clinical success and long-term result is very less. The last part of these advantages is developing jaw. It shows lack of stabilization of abutment T via space maintainers in developing jaw patients. However, research also shown that the flexible nature of fiber materials could possibly decrease this effect. Hi, my name is Gan Jayan. So now I will present the design and fabrication of glass fiber reinforced composite resin. The initial framework of fiber reinforced composite resin loop was constructed using a commercially available polyethylene fiber system. First of all, a ribbon fiber of 40 mm length and 2 mm in breadth was wetted with unfilled adhesive resin to formulate the loop, and leaving 5 mm of fiber on each end for attachment to the abutment tooth, as shown in figures 1 and 2. 
After that, a thin layer of restorative composite resin was added to the outer portion of the fiber, leaving the 5 mm of fiber on each end to provide initial rigidity, handling, and adaptability to the unedged middle third of the buckle and lingual surface of the mounted molar tooth in acrylic, as shown in figures 3 and 4. Next, the assembly was then light cured for 40 seconds through its entire length. The loop was then detached from the tooth. Restorative composite resin was added to the inner portion of the loop except the 5 mm of the fiber on each end and light cured for 40 seconds. The loop was finished and polished with finishing burst and soft flat disc, as shown in figure 5. Finally, the buckle and lingual surface of the tooth was etched with phosphoric acid for 15 seconds, rinsed with water, dry, and then the bonding agent was applied and cured for 40 seconds. The loop was finally attached to the tooth using restorative composite resin, followed by finishing and polishing, as shown in figure 6. That is all from us. We hope everyone can understand and thank you for watching.